Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and I've decided to have enough of War Thunder. I just want to take a break, you know? So I've been visiting the serene lands of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and I'll be telling you guys how to start up your A320 to get a kickstart to your adventures. So, if you have external power available, you can turn it on. If you don't, you can use batteries, that's fine. Um, you can set up your FMS if you want to go into realism that far, um, because it gives the flight computer where you're going, how much fuel you have on board, passengers on board, cargo, uh, weight distribution, etc. And it can best plan the routes um, for your flight. Make sure you are contacting air traffic control. And yeah, also disclaimer guys, this is not supposed to be used in real life. If you have an A320 sitting in your backyard, I don't care, don't follow this. You should probably contact a real flight instructor. Anyways, let's get started. Um, so you've turned on your external power, right? So generator is on. I know it says fault, but that's because your engines aren't generating anything. So what is it going to generate, right? Fuel pumps should be off, uh, blah, 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 bleeds off. There's nothing to bleed air to. Now we need to turn on our auxiliary power unit, or APU. This can provide air and power to the engines to get them started. So you're going to go in, toggle APU master, open. Currently there's a flap at the back of the aircraft. This is like closed. Now if you go in, open it up. It's got a little bit uh, opened. Or it basically opens like a gateway inside the APU to get air into it. Because it is, at the end, a mini turbine. Once you have that, you click AP Starter On, um, and you wait. We'll have a screen here. Yep, you can see that number dwindling, so now you know that's on. You also see for the APU that it's good. It's turning on. Um, yeah. So you're going to go ahead and going to wait for this to say avail, and then turn on APU bleed, so this is going to start bleeding air into the engines. And you'll know because you're hearing that air whirring sound and that thing. That's the APU getting to uh, full power. Um, now once you have that, you can go ahead and get started on the engines turning on. So now you need to turn on all your fuel pumps and go here engine uh, mode to ignition start and engine master 2 on you're going to go ahead and wait until this n1 display shows um 67.3 percent and the n2 display shows um 27.4 it's actually the other way around n2 shows 63 uh 64 point 67.3 and the N1 shows 27.4 or something like that we'll go ahead and see once this gets up to idle power and also um, I forgot to do this but go ahead and make sure your throttles are at die idle I don't have my joystick to connect it right now um, and also make sure your beacon lights are on so that any ground crew in the vicinity of the aircraft are warned that engines will be started soon and they should vacate as soon as possible yeah, the engine is getting up to speed. Um, we always do two and then one, because one is on the side of the gate. And we don't really want to do that. You know? In case it messes up. So yeah, 57.4. That whirring sound, by the way, is a power transfer unit. Making sure that the power is not being generated from the APU, which we should have turned off. Um, to the... engines, because now this generator doesn't say fault, because obviously it's on. I used to have a battery on, just in case, you know, something fails. I'll still have full power, air will be flowing into the aircraft, you know? So now you get the second one started, engine number one. Yeah, we can see the engines start up this time. That one's at full idle. No? 
this one's at full idle. That one's just starting up. We're gonna go ahead here. It's gonna get to 57, 58. Seven. I don't know why it's fluctuating so much. It's mostly worrying me. So that's gone to 58.8 and 21.1. So those are the numbers. I guess when I was doing this before, I forgot to idle it. And it's just hanging around those numbers and I was just watching it. So yeah, this guy's going to go up to 58.8. He's going to go ahead and stay there. This shows the fuel consumption at 2 temperature inside and yeah so now we basically have our engines um, started up now once you do that release your parking brake you can you've been contacting ATC all this time and you are ready to fly wherever your heart contents I'll see you guys in the next video bye